Hey YouTube, it's me Claire Moy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and leave some comments down below. And if you are an oldie but a goodie, you already know I love you, I love you, I love you, mi amor. Now let's get right into this video. Okay beauties, so today we are doing a try on haul, a Fashion Nova Curve try on haul with a little twist, okay? So, the first outfit that I am wearing is of course by Fashion Nova. It is a jumper, guys. So it's like a blazer jumper type outfit. It's cute. It's just a little bit too short for me. This is the back. I really mean, like it. <laughs> but it's a little too short for me, guys. But it's cute. And it's a size 2X. Now, the twist to this video, guys, is that with every outfit change, I will be answering some questions that you guys ask me on my Instagram and my YouTube. So, oh, and these questions are put in no type of order. I just wrote them all down. I didn't use my cell phone because I didn't want to scroll. I wanted to like half the questions. So I wrote them all down and um, we about to get real. We about to get so real. So this is more for me, a nice park outfit, a movie outfit, a spring outfit. It's just really, really cute. So this shirt is like silky. It wants to mimic like a bustier, but it's not. It's just silky. It has these cups. It has a bow. And then the pants are high-waisted. They're also a bit tight, guys, but I don't mind it. And yeah, they're cute. They're distressed. Everything I'm wearing is a size 2X. Now, let's move to the juicy questions. So, the next question is, are you in a relationship? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, the next question is, why did you leave your last relationship? Well, my last relationship was a really, really long time ago, and I left because they was broke. You want some details? Okay. Fix myself just in case they're watching this video and they're like, bitch. Okay. I was just pretty much paying all the bills. Um, I was really, really depressed. Um, the person used to say I was bipolar because one minute I was happy, one minute I wasn't. But now that I am a psychology student, not psychiatrist yet, psychology student, I am realizing that it had nothing to do with bipolar. If somebody is not a doctor, they should not diagnose you with any mental health condition. Okay, I'm rambling. Where was I? Right. So now that I am a psychology student and I know about mental health a lot more, um, I can say that I wasn't bipolar, bitch. Okay, sorry. Um, I was happy one minute because I was happy. Because I was happy. And then I was mad the next minute because I was paying all the goddamn bills, buying all the food, doing everything, and you was just knocked. So yeah. I might cut this part. Moving on to the next question. Okay, what doctor do you want to be? Um, I want to be a psychiatrist. A few things have changed, but I still want to be a psychiatrist, but I'm gonna make a separate video on um, what's going through my mind now with COVID and the future of online schooling. We need to talk because <laughs> shit is getting real. So this next outfit is really, really cute, guys. It's a denim, a light wash denim. It's actually the same denim from the last outfit. And just a black top. It's really cute. It has fringe, not fringes. What is this called? It has these right here. <laughs> Um, the back is really, really low cut. I like that. Excuse me, my bra is showing. And it's cute. It got a little hole right here. The material is really, really light. So you can wear it in the spring and the summertime on the couch. Because <laughs> y'all need to stay inside, okay? Now let's get into some juicy questions. Okay, so <laughs> the next question is... Is Chris your girlfriend? Hmm. And the next question is, when is the wedding? Hmm. 
hopefully come soon. All right, beauties, this is the next shirt. I really like it. This is so me in the summertime, chilling, but still feeling really, really comfortable. And I love a little bit of shoulder action. So cute to me. I really need to get this tattoo redone because this is so old. Like, I can't be one of those women who have, like, old-ass tattoos on their bodies. Like, <laughs> I gotta go get this tattoo redone. I just felt the need to really go get this tattoo done. Anyway, so the material is... It's not that silky material. It's like, um, that... It's on the tip of my tongue. If I remember it, when I'm editing, I'll put what type of material this is. But it's really airy, so that's good. Because... New York in the summertime gets really hot. In the house, however, <laughs> it's a different temperature. So yeah, this is this one. This is how the back looks. You could definitely pull this down, but it doesn't stay down. So it is, it stays really comfortable at around this area right here. Um, can you pull it more? Yeah, you can pull it more like this. That's really comfortable. That's actually a little bit more comfortable than the other way, but we putting it the other way. Okay. Shit. I need a break. <laughs> okay. So the next question is, why do you want to be a psychiatrist and what initially motivated you? Do you have time? Because whew, the reason why I... I'm on the journey to becoming a psychiatrist is extremely personal guys it's literally my life like <laughs> um i don't want to keep saying um guys but if i say it my bad <laughs> so i want to become a psychiatrist i always wanted to become a psychiatrist or some type of counselor peer peer counselor when i was in high school i used to peer counsel for a short period of time um, in high school and I really loved it. I've always been good at giving advice. I've always enjoyed giving advice and in a weird way, I've always enjoyed hearing people's lives, whether it was good, bad, um, you know, ugly, sad. I just always um, didn't mind listening and didn't mind letting them cry on my shoulders. You know, sometimes I would speak to people and they would just start crying um, because I make people feel really comfortable around me. However, that can also be draining on your um, spirit. It could be draining, but either way. So I want to understand, I don't know if I said this, but I want to understand the um, human emotion better. I want to learn professional skills to help me handle my own emotions and i want to be able to teach people those emotions i know what it's like to be in a really really dark place as a woman as a black woman be because when i was younger i didn't think of my skin color that much i that it, I mean, there was definitely colorism around, you know, I definitely thought about my skin, but not in the way I think of it now. Not, I didn't know the heaviness that was behind being a black woman, you know, and now I know that heaviness and black women, black men, black children, we carry that heaviness, whether we want to acknowledge it or not, we carry the heaviness, the heaviness of slavery and we need to talk about it right therapy is for black people black people do go to therapy we need to talk about it you know don't be afraid to get on antidepressants if you have to it could save your life i'm sorry this is long guys maybe i should have left this for a separate video oh, whatever we're gonna finish okay um when i finally received the help that i needed i was like nah everybody needs this like what have i been doing all my life you know what i'm saying like white kids they go to therapy since they've been in in high school in, in middle school you know what i'm saying we don't necessarily have that luxury depending on where we go to school um it's not something that's encouraged 
for us to get our feelings out and talk to someone about deep stuff, right? About our struggles, all that stuff. It's not encouraged for us to do that. A lot of times it's not encouraged because the therapists and stuff, you might not know a lot of black therapists because my therapist, she's a black girl. I say girl because she's younger than me. So she's a black young lady. And then my psychiatrist is a Chinese woman. And um, I just connect really well with my black therapist, even though I haven't been seeing her that often lately. Hey girl, if you're watching this. Um, but I don't connect that well with um, my Chinese woman therapy because we just have different stories. You know, we have different histories. There's certain things that I go through that she, she might not understand and there's certain things that she goes through that I might not understand. So long story short, um, I want to be what I needed when I really, really needed it to someone else. <sighs> let's move on to the next outfit. Let, let's get a little sunshine in the room. <laughs> so I'm still wearing the same jeans because they clearly go with everything and they just feel really good. Um, so I'm wearing a white tank top also from everything's from Fashion Over Curve, but this is a white tank top, guys. It is actually a bodysuit because <laughs> Fashion Nova loves them some bodysuits, okay? And I like them too because they stay tucked into your pants or your skirt, whatever you're wearing. So yeah, this is this bad boy right here. It's just a white tank top. It's cute. This is the next shirt. This is so cute, guys. This is super cute. This is the back. This is definitely like, um, it's just cute. Okay, I'm not even wearing this around the house with just my panties on, you know, it'll be extra cute. The material is the same material from the other shirt that I don't know the name right now, but it's the same type of material. It's very airy and this part is like ribbed. Yeah, it's also stretchy. It's comfortable. Ladies, if you do not have a strapless bra, you got to get one. You got to get one because a lot of these shirts, you get a strapless bra. Well... Listen, we are in quarantine. I am not encouraging anybody to shop, even though I keep saying you got to get one. You got to get one. That's just the way I talk, okay? I'm just showing you guys some cute clothes that I got from Fashion Nova because, you know, I'm a Fashion Nova babe. So, yeah, but I'm not encouraging to you for you to go out and shop and spend all your coins during quarantine because we don't know how long this is going to last. Like, what if this is the beginning of an apocalypse? I'm going to be really mad because <laughs> I'm going to do my best. God damn it, and I don't need the world to end right now. That's some bullshit. Because I could have been eating a lot of other shit that I want to eat. Moving on, let's get back to some of these questions. So the next question is, do you plan on keeping your locks forever? Absolutely, I do, guys. I love my locks. Um, I really want it to be safe to go get my locks washed and retwisted. Even if the salon would open right now, I am not ready to go because it's scary outside. So I really don't know when I'm going to feel comfortable to be that close to someone that I don't know where they've been in the past 14 days. <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah. But I do plan on keeping it forever. I do plan on wearing wigs. Matter of fact, I do have a wig video coming up for you guys. It's a natural hair video because I really like to keep my hair in a natural looking state. It's just more uh, natural to me. So I do like to look that way. I like for my hair to look natural, whether it's big curly hair or locks or braids. I like having um, black girl hairstyles. Keep it real. Okay. The next question is, how are you so confident? And the young lady also wrote, I'm trying to learn how to feel more confident in my own skin. Now, I told you this video was going to be really real. And I don't want to lead anyone on a path that I'm not really on. You know what I'm saying? I come across social media extremely confident. Um, you know, that I got it all together and all that good stuff. But I don't. <laughs> My confidence level is, is like this. Sometimes it's really high and sometimes it's low. Um, I will just add this to this because another question in here is um, how do you stay confident as a big girl? Girl, <laughs> it's hard. Not all the time do I feel confident. 
that's just keeping it 100. What I do in order to get to a place where I would be more comfortable is just every day I work on being a better person. Some days I stay in bed all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But most days I try to just be a better person. Um, I know that this is the only body I have. So I have to love it. I have to cherish it because it's mine. It just doesn't make any sense to walk around feeling sluggish, looking sluggish, behaving sluggish, you know? Sometimes you might have to fake some confidence. Whatever got to get you through, you know? I do want to say that if you're not comfortable with your weight, you are in control of changing that. Like I am, because I'm not 100% comfortable in my weight. But I am. I do have control over changing that which I'm working on every single day. So, yeah, I don't know if I answered your question. I don't know, but I also wanted to add that I am not not confident. I don't have low self-esteem. You know, when I leave this house, nobody's going to see me slipping because <laughs> that's just not who I am. You know what I'm saying? When I go outside, um, people would assume that I'm very confident. I look very confident. I present myself confident, but I'm not confident every day. You know, it's it's a roller it's a roller coaster. And even someone who's not plus size, you think they're confident just because they're not plus size? Their confidence is a roller coaster as well. Rihanna, Beyonce, Oprah, <laughs> all these beautiful women that you see on social media. Or, or on TV, their self-confidence is also a roller coaster. We're not always gonna stay here, no matter how flat the tummy is, no, how, no matter how big the booty is, we're never gonna stay right here. It's just not possible. So, yeah. <laughs> next question. Okay, so the next question is, this video is gonna be long, but this is entertaining, right? I keep switching up outfits in my fashion over. Okay, the next question is, how are you mentally doing especially during this pandemic. I think I answered this question, and if you guys follow my community board, if you're really a writer, you know what I'm saying, you support the kid, if you follow my community board, I express myself there a lot. I express myself there a lot more um, on YouTube than I do Instagram. I don't know, I just feel very comfortable with you guys in the community board because I feel like not everybody is reading long ass paragraphs. So when I write my long ass paragraphs, I know that whoever is taking the time to read it is really interested in what I have to say and will communicate back with me. So yeah, I do express myself a lot on the community board. Make sure you check that out. But um, I'm doing okay. I'm really doing okay. I'm not completely overwhelmed. Um, yeah, you know, my grades are popping, you know what I'm saying? Once I get my grade, okay, my grades are okay. I mean, I'm passing all my classes with flying colors. But there's a few issues going on, but um, I'll put it in a video because I am going to do a video about my school year and my, not my school year, my um, last semester and all that good stuff. I will be doing a video about that soon. Anyways, moving on. So this is the next outfit guys it's super cute i feel like this is like a classic outfit i think every girl has done this outfit it's just a you know bra bustier with a blazer you can't go wrong with this outfit guys you can wear it to so many different things but hopefully you'll be wearing it on the couch <laughs> i gotta kill this joke okay so this is this guys and um let's answer some more questions oh let me show you the back so it does have mesh on the side and then yeah it does have mesh on the side so it's a really good summer for hotter weather it's a really good summer for hotter weather <laughs> so the next question is recommended moisturizer to be honest guys i've just been using olay lately um i don't really care what moisturizer i use as long as it's, it's moisturizing but i do always make sure that i pair an eye cream with it um, I'll write down the eye cream that I use because I don't remember the name, but I'll write down the eye cream that I use right here and I really, really like it. You know what? I've actually been thinking about getting the moisturizer from that eye care line, but we'll see. Anyways, the next question is, 
Are you willing to do makeup consultations virtually? Mm, I haven't thought about it really and I also don't know when I will find the time to do that, but at the moment I can say no. I'm not planning on doing that. Hmm. Um, because I'm really not doing makeup like that. I, you know, I haven't done my makeup in <laughs> forever. Okay. Also, are you planning on getting your doctorate? Well, I am planning on going to medical school, um, getting my medical license. So the next question is, when is your birthday? What is your sign? And do you want to have kids? My birthday is October 10th. That birthday is really special to me because for, I mean, it's special because it's my birthday. But <laughs> for whatever reason, every 10 years or on the 10th of something, something important happens. I don't know. 10, 10. Right. It's 10, 10. What is your sign? I'm a Libra. I am a true Libra, even though I'm not sure if I believe in horoscopes. But whenever I read my horoscopes, I do enjoy reading my horoscopes. I enjoy reading Christina's horoscope. And it's always like pretty, pretty dead on. But they could be but they could be describing anybody. Or anybody could relate to. Why not? Okay. How did you get so good at makeup? And what is your recommendation to someone trying to get better at makeup? Um you know what, this, is, this also gets a little personal. How did I get good at makeup? You would think that I just fell in love with makeup, I'm girly, and da-da-da. But no, actually, growing up, you know, we didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't have all the cool clothes and the cool shoes and stuff like that. But I just needed to do my hair and my makeup. And <laughs> I was just good at, even though I felt like my clothes were not all of that, if my hair and my face look good, <laughs> baby girl, you're in the game. What is your recommendation to someone trying to get better at makeup? Practice. You know, you got to do your makeup when you're not going nowhere. You got to do your makeup when you are going somewhere. You have to practice. And the best practice in the beginning is your own face. At least that's what it was for me. And I'll show you some clients that I've done. I'll pop them up right here to show you some clients. I'm just as good as doing my own face as I am doing clients' faces. So that's how I became really good at it. I didn't go to no school. I did teach at a lot of makeup schools and I taught a lot of makeup classes. But yeah, practice on yourself and then practice on your friends and family and do your thing. And definitely if there's someone who's teaching some really good makeup classes and you like the way they do makeup, if they have a class, try to attend. Um, educating yourself is never a bad thing. So, okay. You wanna uh, save that for another outfit? Save the next question? Yeah, the next question for another outfit. Okay, come on, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so this is the next outfit. This is definitely a chill at home outfit. These pants are so comfortable, guys. Especially now that I'm home, I cannot stay my stay in my pajamas all day long. If I stay in my pajamas, I just to feel I just start to feel like, ugh, you know? So this is really cute when you get out of bed to put some clothes on. It feels like you're not wearing anything. And if you guys were in here right now, I would not have on a bra, okay? This is the back. A booty like my eyes, baby girl. This is the side, guys. I love these two little things. They remind me of Adidas, but they're not. So yeah, it's really, it's so cute. And it feels really, really great. Now, are you ready for the next question? Because I am. The next question is, where on earth have you been? <laughs> um, I just been at home doing schoolwork, guys. I'm taking four classes this semester and being a full-time in-person student to a full-time online student, yeah, it's crazy. Like professors, in order to get a participation grade, which I participate like crazy in class because I love interacting. Like, I feel like I'm learning better like that, but to get a participation grade, they're making this write like, they're making this read like 50 million extra long ass articles. They are interesting though, I ain't gonna lie, they are interesting, but still, okay? Reading these long ass articles, and then you have to leave a response, and then you have to respond to two other students. Like, it's just a lot, you know? And yeah, so that's where I've been. You know, I would like to be more, I would like to be more, um, I would like to be more on social media. 
but yeah i've just been with my school trying to get these degrees so yeah i'm pretty sure if i prioritize my time better you know i could um record more but i feel like the minute i wake up in the morning that's like 6 30 7 o'clock 8 o'clock in the morning i eat my breakfast i have a coffee i use the restroom and then i'm just doing schoolwork till like six seven eight o'clock at night that's what it feels like i'm like am i working slow like why am i always doing the schoolwork <laughs> like it's a crazy feeling so i don't know but that's where i've been um yeah and i've been working on my mental health so will you still do surgery absolutely i'm still gonna do surgery what you thought this was okay yes i'm definitely gonna be doing surgery still guys um because uh, it's gonna look really good on me <laughs> i'm getting 360 lipo but i'm also i'm also right now in the process of getting the gastric bypass surgery so i'm also in the process of seeing the doctors i just had a video call um appointment with my not appointment a video call meeting with my doctor so that's still going ahead of course uh, it has been put on hold due to the coronavirus but yeah i'm still getting i'm still getting by gastric bypass surgery as well as 360 lipo i didn't even talk about this shirt y'all this shirt is comfortable as hell okay and i like that it ties up if you're just chilling at home you definitely don't have to tie it up you can just wear it like no you can't <laughs> it looks better tied up Okay, so are we done with the first page? Because if we're done with the first page, guys, I'm going to put on another outfit. Okay, we're done with the first page. I'm going to change my outfit, and then we'll be finishing the second page. Ooh, and I got to say thank you to Fashion Nova because you got me changing an outfit for every question. Now, that's an interesting Q&A. All right, guys, so these are these pants. So, but they look nice. And, um... They're just comfortable. Colorful magenta colored pants. Um, um, I normally wouldn't wear colored pants. I know you just saw the tie-dye one, but that one is a jogger. It's a jumper. It sweats. <laughs> I normally wouldn't wear like colorful pants because something about it is just so cheapy to me. I don't. I don't know what it is. Okay. But I wanted to try it, and I like it. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this shirt, but I like it, and it's comfortable, y'all. It's a size 16, which makes me happy, y'all. So, okay. Now I got a surprise. Well, from the title of this video, you already know what's coming up next. I wanted to save the best for last, but I'm gonna show y'all some bathing suits from Fashion Nova, and I believe this is my first time trying on bathing suits from Fashion Nova. So, let's see how they fit. Because I never tried them on before. Okay, beauty. So, this is the first bathing suit. It is a camouflage top with the matching, like, bathing suit top, which is in, like, a sports bra style. And then the bottoms. The bottoms are very tiny, guys. Very tiny. And this is the skirt. I saw this skirt, and I really love cover-ups when I do go to any place where I have to swim. And I can swim, by the way, okay? Um... I do like to wear cover-ups. How do you feel about this cover-up? Let me know down below. Now, this is more my speed. I just feel really good in this. Um, it does come with padding. I will take the padding out. I don't need no padding, you feel me? So, I will take the padding out, guys. Bless you. First of all, don't be sneezing around me now. This is it. It is a mesh shirt. Super cute. This is the bag. Um, this actually did not come with it, this cover-up. But I wanted some cover-ups because even though I haven't worn, um, I haven't gone to the beach in a long time, don't see it in the foreseeable future. But I always like cover-ups. I think they're so sexy. But let's answer some questions because I know you've been waiting. I know. This question is, well, it's not important, but are you gay? She also said, which I thought was really nice, um hmm. she asked me well it's not important are you gay she also added 
that she doesn't mean to offend anybody. She's just curious. I think, you know, when people ask questions like that, it's, it's, it's not a bad question, but no one would ask me, am I straight? You know what I mean? So, but again, I'm not offended or anything like that. I'm just pointing that out, but I'm definitely not offended. Okay. Next question is, what made you go into try and hold business? Did your mom play a part with your decision? And what does the future hold for you? Okay, so I went into the try and haul business because I wanted to change my channel around a bit. I was really getting tired of doing makeup um, makeup tutorials. It's really, really time consuming. The editing takes forever. I'm busy with other things. Doing try and hauls are much faster and I'm still able to connect with you guys. So my mom didn't have anything to do with me switching over to doing try on hauls at all. She does have a huge influence on my social media y'all lord jesus she, she used to have a lot more influence on my social media influence on my social media but she's chilling a little bit um and the next question is what does your future well what does the future hold for you so continuing my education getting married um hopefully moving out of new york city but still moving to somewhere cold the reason why I want to move out of New York City is because during this pandemic, I realized how unsafe New York City is because it's an island and a lot of people live on this island and there's just no space. Everyone is piled up on each other. And I believe that's why it's so bad in New York. That's why the, the eye of the pandemic is in New York City because everyone is so close together. How do you balance school and work? I don't. <laughs> I don't balance it, okay? Yeah, I just make sure that I prioritize. Um, and right now, school is more important than my social media because that is what I did full-time for work. Now I don't do it full-time anymore because I'm in school. So yeah, I just, whatever is more important, that's what I focus on. And then, the, the the rest of the time that I have left, I do whatever else I need to do to get some money. Okay. How far do you wish to go in your studies? Well, I want to become a doctor. So, yeah, I got about six more years, eight, six to eight more years. But I'm cool with it because I always say when I think of the time, I always say that that time is going to go by anyway if you get to, you know, live that long. That, the time is going to go by anyway, so you might as well be doing something you like to do. And hey, eight years from now, me becoming, me being a doctor, you know, that's a hell of a thing to look forward to. So, yeah, that's, um, I only have one more bathing suit, so I'm going to read a few more questions in this one. Okay, how is college coming along? Really well. However, this semester, I had the worst professor in the world. And I also learned that a professor could really break the class. You know, he's just a complete asshole. And it was for, I'm not even going to say, well, you know, let me not say what class it was for because you never know. People find me so fast on social media. So, but he was a complete asshole. And, um, yeah, but as far as that college is coming along great, um, I'm learning new things. It's like. It's crazy. I just never thought I'd be here today in school. Um, are you deep into your studies? Absolutely. I actually, for this semester, only have um, an exam left, an essay exam and two papers for this semester, and then I'm done. But this is not actually my last semester because I need to take three more classes in the summer, and um, then I graduate, and yeah. The next question is, how do you reset when life is overwhelming? Before I answer that question, I want to ask you guys a question. Now, I'm really looking forward to your opinion. But what makes you ask me that? Like, what makes you think that I do something, like, really special when life gets overwhelming? Or why do you think your social media influencers are doing something less amazing, more amazing that than what you're doing at home. I really wanna know that answer because, yeah. But what do I do when, um, how do you reset, how do you reset when life 
becomes overwhelming. Sometimes I have a really good cry. Ugh. I don't know what's been going on, y'all. And I know I wrote a few posts ago that I really hate crying, but something has gone, some flip, some switch has flipped where the day after a good cry, I am so incredibly motivated. I am so focused. It's like I released, I probably did release something, but I released something. Yeah, I'm gonna look up what I released. And that kind of like gets me my mojo back. So, you know, I get back to eating right. Sometimes I got to eat really healthy. That's something that really resets my life because sometimes my, my body feels dirty. Like I've just been eating bullshit and I, need, and I need to cleanse my body. You know, that's how I reset myself. Um, the next question is, how do you deal with negative energy, comments people give, and bullying? I don't get bullied. <laughs> like, I don't get bullied. Like... <laughs> I don't get bullied but I guess there is online bullying um, I must say that I have been fortunate enough not to have experience online bullying so I can't really comment on that um, I get a few weird comments I get a few guys that come on here and say some off-the-wall shit but I don't really get negative comments and how do I deal with negative energy I'm working on um, I'm working on finding better skills to deal with negative energy because in the past I have just cut people off like I will cut you off really fast not give you a reason it'll just be things that you've been doing that's building up that I don't like and then I cut you off you know so yeah that is something that I'm working on because um, I would like to deal with negative energy better versus just cutting it off you know you guys want to go to a next outfit let's go to a next outfit so this is my favorite bathing suit. This is more like me. This is what I will wear to the beach or to any water event. This is the back. You can even let this hang over your shoulders, but it's way more comfortable on your shoulders because that's, that is what's giving the girls support. Yeah, you can also get more support by pulling this tighter, which is what I did. And you can also get more support on the bottoms by pulling the strings tighter, which I didn't do. So yeah, this is this one. And I'm going to show you a really cute cover-up, um, but it won't look good with this bathing suit because it's not sporty type of bathing suit, but I'm going to show you the cover-up. So look at this. Baby. So I mean, this is not gorgeous. It goes all the way down. It's so gorgeous. I don't really feel the need to put it on because it literally looks like this on, even though I've never tried it on. Okay, let's try it. And I would even wear this with like a thong bikini bottom and no bra no top because it's like a really flattering um see-through dress but this is how this looks you see it does not look good with this type of bathing suit you need like just you need to be braless period okay let them girls hang out it's really comfortable it's super comfortable guys I have one more cover-up to show you guys and I also have a few more questions to answer so this is the skirt this is super cute it's so cute guys this is my thing yeah this is cute you can also wear it like as a complete dress but not with this type of bathing suit but like with a different bathing suit I would oh I would I'm lying I wouldn't wear it like that <laughs> I would just wear it like this it is super cute uno dos tres she is that though I love this shirt the color is beautiful it goes really well with my bra like the two color combinations go really well. I would just tuck this into some blue jeans, yeah? And that'll be my outfit, like, I love it. I love it, it's so cute. This is the back. It just feels so good, it's like a chiffon. Is that the material? The chiffon is kinda hot. Anyways, moving on. So yeah, I really, really like this. And this is the shirt we're gonna wear to finish the rest of the questions, okay?
guys if the sound is like going weird it's because the mic was accidentally left off and then we forgot to even turn the mic on in the beginning of the video you know what i'm saying that's why you got to be consistent with youtube because when you're not you come back rusty af moving on so next question is do you still enjoy doing makeup are you hinting to do makeup videos and i want to say um this person also asked this question was it expensive to start your dread extension okay do you still enjoy doing makeup not as much like I, I just grew out of it really um are you hinting to do makeup videos soon no i am not um but maybe because i've have i've had several requests to do makeup videos so maybe i'll do a how i do my makeup now type of video like a whole update on how i do my makeup because it has really changed and it's a lot faster now and a lot less steps okay was this was it expensive to start your dread extension i told you i'm gonna keep it all the way real in this video and in none of my videos i have actually told you guys the price of my dread extensions number one is because my mama was there and she would just have a fit to find out that i spend my own money my hard own money on my hair <laughs> that it was so expensive but actually it was drum roll please thirteen hundred dollars what the fuck but i invested that because i'm going to, i was just tired of doing my hair and i know that this will last for a long time and i no longer have to worry about necessarily doing my hair and i could just get up and go Yes, I still have to, you know, get my hair washed, get my hair done, but not as much, not as often. I just had the same thing, two different ways. But yeah. So yeah. Also, I gave a really, really big tip um, because I don't know how to tip. So I just end up always giving bigger tips. What are some tips or words of affirmations that Chris and mommy give you? I know your partner, oh, okay, that's another question, but it's the same uh, person that had two questions. So the tips that Christina always gives me is that um, my mom gives me um, similar tips, a similar tip where they both say that whenever I put my mind to something, I always get it done. And that feels really good, especially in times where I feel like giving up. They always remind me that, you know, whenever you put your mind to something, you always finish. Next question is young lady asks, I actually know you girl. Hey, hey, well not know you in person, but I know you via online. Thank you for always commenting. I really appreciate it. So the next question you ask is, I know you partnered and had your lippy line a few years ago. That's how I know you are an oldie and a goodie baby. Any more future partnering for the future? Um, any more partnering for the future? for anything, not just cosmetics. At the moment right now, I don't know, but if something that I believe in should arise, then I definitely would. But I have to be in love with it. I have to believe in it, then absolutely. Okay, the next question is, where did you learn to love yourself no matter what the size? We definitely went over this. I'm not gonna go into depth into that, but um, I only have one body, you know what I'm saying? So I, I gotta work with what I got. <laughs> So yeah, and just try to take as good care of it as I can. What are the steps as a foreigner to get citizenship in the USA? You thought I forgot about you, but I left your question for last, homegirl. So I hope you're listening. <clears throat> I need some water. So keep in mind that I was born in the United States. I was born right here in New York City. However, both my parents are from South America, Suriname, and I was raised there so that's a little bit of um, background in history on myself so how to get your papers right you could get a lawyer or you could do it on your own getting an immigration attorney is more money but it will make sure that you don't make any mistakes throughout the process right um the attorney depending on what kind of attorney you get could charge about like a thousand dollars fifteen hundred dollars to file 
excuse me, to file paperwork for you. And then before they file like the last set of paperwork, excuse me, you have to give them another like 1500 or something like that. However, in the case that I was involved in, what we actually had to do was the attorney gave us some wrong information and we ended up figuring out the correct information ourselves. And then we continued the process ourselves for uh, my people. So with that being said, I have experience with the attorney and I have experience doing it on our own. So yeah, that's the advice I have. You can do it on your own, but if you're not, you know, if that's not your thing, it could be really difficult or you could get an attorney. It's really up to you, but you, you know, it's not just like buy a ticket and come to the U.S. You definitely have some steps and some ways to go. First, you have to get approved for your green card and then after you get approved for your green card and you have to like go to a hella offices, no. I'm like, you have to go to the doctors, you have to go to the immigration office. So you have to go to a few different offices and um, you have to be approved for your green card. And then after that, you're able to travel. And then a year later, you'll be approved to become a United States citizen. Of course, I'm not an attorney and I don't know exactly how to do it, but that was my experience. With that being said, guys, I hope I answered all your questions. When I posted all these questions, I was a little nervous, like, don't you have a video on when you guys had... I never posted it. Oh. Okay. I do have a video, blah, 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 but I, I just never posted it. But, um, like I was saying, the fuck was I saying? With that being said, with that being said, your girl is about to go because I actually have an exam tomorrow. I have an essay exam and a multiple choice exam for my black psychology class. So I need to go and get some study on. So I'm going to go. Make sure you watch some of my other videos, y'all, because y'all need to help me get my views up. Motivate me to make more videos. With that being said, make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe and please turn on your post notification and then click all so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Bye.